The Singapore Land Authority and the Ministry of Law have just amended the Residential Property Act, the RPA, and here are five things that you need to know. Number one, the type of properties that are being affected. Now, if you look on the URA master plan, anything that is highlighted in the light blue color means that they are zoned for residential and commercial use. And these properties will all require government approval before foreigners can buy. Secondly, what is the definition of a foreign buyer? Anybody who's not a Singapore citizen, not a Singapore company, not a Singapore limited liability partnership, and not a Singapore society. So therefore, this would impact foreigners and permanent residents as well. So these foreigners and foreign entities will now have to go through an application process before they can proceed to buy land that is zoned for commercial and residential use. So what about foreigners who already existingly own this sort of properties. If they have intention to retain or redevelop these properties, they now have to seek approval from the government under the RPA Act. Lastly, this move is set to take effect on the 20th of July 2023, and the intention is to safeguard residential land for Singaporeans. So in conclusion, if the government is making such a move to make it difficult for foreigners to buy these sort of properties in Singapore, suggest that there could be a strong demand for such properties by foreigners in Singapore. If you are Singaporean looking to make a move on your property portfolio, this could be a crucial piece of information for you if you're looking to buy a property and position yourself in a situation where you're able to sell your property at a much higher price down the road because you know exactly where the demand is.